our last video, we were wrapping up our first few days there in Bologna from the grounds of the Sanctuary of San Luca. If you have not seen that video, I will drop a link in the description below or there will be a link at the end of this video. There are several ways to get to the sanctuary itself. First, you can walk. I'm told it's about a 60, maybe a little over a minute walk to get there. Or you can ride the bus, which will get you close and then you can walk up the hill from there uh, under the porticos. We chose to ride the San Luca Express, which is a little open air train. The road leading up to the sanctuary is about four kilometers long. Uh, it has covered, it's covered with a portico that has some, I believe I've read 600, maybe more than that archways. It's one of the longest in the world. That portico, along with the others in Bologna, were, and I'm making sure I get this right, were included in the UNESCO World Heritage Site, or, or added as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2021. We purchased the tickets at the Welcome Bologna office, which is in the Piazza Maggiore, and then it's just a short walk across the piazza to get on the bus itself, or excuse me, to get on the little train itself. The train is equipped with integrated audio. They give out little single use headsets, headphones, um, like you get on an airplane. And as you drive or they take you up to the sanctuary itself, they give you a little history about the city of Bologna. I think it's in like 10 different languages. I'm not sure what, what all languages it covers, but I, do, I did read there were like 10 languages that it covered. The construction of the church started in 1723, and I believe I read that it took almost 40 years to complete. The main entrance as you after you get off the train and are walking up is a wide staircase that ends in a nice big open garden area. There were seating out there, flower beds. The day we were there, they, were, they looked like children were there on a field trip. It was a beautiful sunny day, great day to be outside. On the inside of the sanctuary, these massive columns and frescoes as you come through the door. This next part I want to read to you so I, I get it correct. So a central place in the church is the icon of the Virgin Mary with the baby. And many people believe that when you watch the holy icon, they feel like that the mother's gaze, especially as you're walking towards it, intensifies. So they kind of feel like that she's watching you as you move throughout the sanctuary itself. In 2017, they opened a panoramic terrace on top of the basilica and for an additional charge, it was five euros a piece. You can go up a very narrow staircase to the top and you get, you don't get 360 views because the very, the dome of the basilica kind of blocks that, but you definitely get 180 degree views of the countryside and the city below. When you have finished looking around, um, seeing everything there is to see, you, you can take your time. We took our time there on the grounds, um, found a shade tree and, and kind of sat and just people watched for a while. But uh, whenever you're ready to go back, you just walk back down to the little train stop and get on the train. Um, it runs every 20, 30 minutes. It's running back and back and forth from the piazza. Now we spent five days there in Bologna. We know a lot of people go to Italy and do Bologna as a day trip or that area. And it's a pretty easy walk from uh, the Bologna Centrale train station to the piazza and the uh, Welcome Bologna office. Uh, maybe 20 minutes from the train station, but there's plenty of coffee bars and restaurants in between the train station and the piazza. So if you got up early that morning, rode from wherever, Rome, Florence, uh, you know, planning to spend the day there in Bologna, there's plenty of places to grab lunch or a, or a espresso before you go and get on the train. In our next video, we are going to ascend to the top of one of the twin towers there in Bologna. I believe it was 498 steps to get to the very top, but it offers some pretty spectacular views. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comments below. We do our best to answer every comment. Uh, we're always happy 
to help if we can. And if you have not, I would like to take this opportunity to ask you to subscribe or please consider subscribing to the channel or at the very least give this video a thumbs up. It does help the channel.